Says she wanna ride up on it. I ain't playing no games, baby. Grind up on it. Says she wanna slow down, ride up on it. She'll be fucking with a real ass nigga if she grinds up on this. Damn here is your oh my. Hey YouTubers, my name is Sally T. Thank you for viewing my channel today. I want to let you guys know I post every Thursday. I will start doing um, what's in my bag videos, hauls, story times, makeup tutorials, recipes, uh, whatever it is, you name it. Um, this is my first video on the YouTube, so please be nice. Um, I did decide to do a what's in my bag video. It is what's trending right now on YouTube and I like watching those videos. I enjoy watching what everyone puts in their bag and carries around. Um, so I'm a little nosy myself so I wanted to do the same. Uh, the type of bag that I have is pretty big uh, but I don't carry a lot in it because um, if for any of you who do carry a Neverfull should know that it gets super super heavy and the items in it could just pile on by day um, so I'm just gonna get started on the video um, and let's get to it right now I have a Damier Azure Neverfull and uh, it's in the interior color is Rose Ballerine um, I had this bag for about a couple months now and the handles and all the cohide leather, I believe. I'm not sure it's cohide. I'm not sure. Uh, Vaquetta leather is um, patining. Uh, it's patinaed the bag, bag pretty well. Um, I got this pink puffball from H and M. Um, it's pretty nice. It's been keeping up pretty well also. So I could recommend if you guys carry puffballs, get them from H and M. They last. Um, in other stores like Mandy's, popped right off the string. The first thing I have in my bag, I always have all the time, and that's plus. It's a pretty big screen. I recommend um, the 6S Plus. I didn't switch to the 7 yet. It's just like, it's taking a toll on me that there's no earphone jacks. Like, it's, it's very hard. Like, I hate hooking up my Bluetooth. If my Bluetooth is dead, I can't plug in my head jack in. So I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to just stick with the 6. Um, the next thing I have in my bag is my um, workout phone carrier. Um, I just throw this in my bag when I go to the gym so I could use it for the machines and so I could hear music easily without holding it in my hand. The next thing I have in my bag is my um, wide tooth comb. I have big <laughs> fluffy hair and um, it gets tangled a lot so I have to use a wide tooth comb any other combs like rat tail combs I will die so this is a necessity for me every day the next thing I have in my bag is this um, Bath and Body Works um, Shea uh, Shea body cream it's almost empty guys um, it smells delicious the people in my old office would know like the minute I put it on the whole room smelled like it I recommend getting this I got this around Christmas there should still be a few left on the shelf. The next thing I have in my bag is my uh, vision glasses. I have a pair of Prada journals. I got them for a pretty good price. They're really nice. A little dirty right now, but I use them to uh, drive at night. I use them for school. I use them for work. Looks great. Um, the next thing I have in my bag um, are these brass knuckles. Yes, I live in New York. This is my only form of protection. I had a bad experience with pepper spray in here. I had a bad experience with knives. So this is the best bet. Um, I do not go through metal detectors with this. This stays in the car. <laughs> Um, the next thing in my bag is my Ray-Bans. I love these aviators. I've had them for like two years already. And um, they're just about gorgeous. Still, no scratches, no nothing. I used to work for Luxottica. It's a sunglass company. Not sunglass, but it's just a company that does sell sunglasses. And um, 
I just love these. Every time I put them on, I feel like I'm a superstar. Like, <laughs> get you a pair. Get you a pair. The next thing in my bag I have is hand sanitizer. I have to carry hand sanitizer everywhere I go. Um, I have long nails and my hands can get very dirty very fast. And this is the best, but hand sanitizer. The next thing I have in my bag is my uh, Chloe perfume. It's one of my favorite scents. I've been wearing it for the past year now. I switch it up sometimes with Dulce, um, the one and uh, Giorgio C, but right now I'm using um, Chloe, the original Chloe. Um, smells delish. The next thing I have in my bag are these headphones. I should really wrap them up and put them in here somewhere safe but I have not gotten a chance to do so. So I need to definitely get to do that um, so that when I go to the gym or I need them real quick that they're easy and accessible. But right now they're not. Is my composition book. Um, I recommend hold, holding a composition book or an agenda to write down your thoughts or things that you need. It really does help out, guys. Like, I used to have a like, really great memory. I don't know what happened. But um, I write everything that I need in here, and um, it's important to carry it. I feel like it keeps me on task for what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Fiji water bottle. I think there's hair on here. Fiji. I carry Fiji. I'm going to tell you why I carry it. <laughs> because the bottle's pretty. I'm telling you. It's just so pretty, isn't it? It's like they put so much thought into this water bottle. Like, I love the fact that it looks like blue water. It actually makes me drink it more. It sounds crazy, but it does. Fiji water is like really good. I'm actually going to take a sip. The next thing I have in my bag um, is my favorite book by um, Jennifer Tuma Young. I was right. Yeah, Gem Jennifer Tuma. Um, it is Balance Your Life, Balance the Scale. I'm into dietetics. I'm into nutrition. Um, so this is a big part of my life. I'm in the middle of um, turn my life around eating vegan. I will do a video on that and how that's been working out for me. Um, but I definitely recommend um, Tuma Young's videos and her books. She's a really great inspirer, not just about dieting, but about changing your life um, for the better and maintaining your weight. So um, it's a really good read. Then, oh, the next thing I have in my bag is this. Montour Gabriel Pouchette. This Pouchette, I got it with another tote. It has rings um, and lip gloss. My little oil scents in here. Um, this ring, to be exact. This is a pretty ring. Let's wear this for the rest of the video. This is like one of my favorite rings, guys. Um, and I carry like little medicines and stuff like that um, in this Pouchette. I do have another pochette. Where'd it go? Oh, it fell out. Um, the pochette that came with the Neverfull. This is one of my other favorite little bags. It's just like, if I don't feel like carrying this huge bag, I will definitely carry the pochette. I could use it for nighttime, nightlife. You know, I have like, I put my cell phone, credit cards, ID, anything I need in it. Like, look, right now I have a pair of hoop earrings in here and a couple of stickies for my boobs, like for those strapless shirts, you know? It's pretty cute. I have a couple of fobs on here. I am trying to look into a Louis Vuitton key, fob, Louis Vuitton key holder. Um, I'm looking on Poshmark right now. I'm in the middle of bidding. Not bidding, but you know what I mean. You know what you have to do on Poshmark. Um, but. I'll see how that goes through, but I really want one to have all my key fobs safe and protected. Them hanging on the keys like this, I've lost a few, so it'd be really great if I had a key card holder, and I preferably Louis Vuitton because I'm like obsessed with the designer. The next thing I have in my bag is this head scarf. Head scarf, wow, this head ribbon. And um, I throw it on real quick if my edges are looking crazy. <laughs> The next thing I have in my bag, I usually don't carry this, but um, I'm going to leave this somewhere accessible. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to carry this anymore, but it's very important to take your gummies, guys. This is one of my favorites. It keeps my hair growing and flowing. 
The next thing I have in my bag are these vanilla mints from Trader Joe's. These are very good. They're about $3 each. Um, mints by itself are way too strong for me. So the fact that they incorporated vanilla in them and they're sugar-free, uh, dentist recommended. So no issues later like with cavities because, you know, they're too sweet or anything like that. Um, the next thing I have in my bag is my MAC palette, my MAC compact uh, mineralizer. And um, my makeup could look a little blotchy out of nowhere. It has a little mirror inside and um, it's easy accessible for me to just reapply. That's about it. Like, I really have another perfume in here by Snooky Polizzi. This smells really great. I really recommend buying this. I'm not sure if it's on the shelf anymore. I got this around like seven or eight years ago. And um, it's still smelling pretty well. And I still have quite a few left. Carry Cocoa Butter cleanse Cleansing Wipes. These are really good for your face and hands. Um, just in case if you're about to eat or if you need to wipe something off your face. The next thing I have here is this powder blush that I keep around so I get my cheeks nice and rosy. Um, the next thing I have is my Gigi Logo wallet. It's a uh, zip around. It's an eight card holder. I hold my money, my cards, my debit cards, my credit cards, my receipts. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you guys want to see more what's in my bag videos, more hauls, more recipes please 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 subscribe I'm new to this I'm really excited I'm really hoping that this is gonna be a new journey for me and thank you guys so much for watching I look forward to reading all the comments I look forward to reading um, everything that you guys have tips for me or ideas so please again subscribe and thanks for watching